Hello students and welcome to your English language class. Today in this class we will be reading a very interesting story. The Last Leaf written by O. Henry. And it's a sentimental story about a girl named Johnsy who fell ill and refused to recover just because a whim. She lost her will to live because she began identifying herself with an ivy creeper outside her window. The author very interestingly puts the idea that one can win the hour of crisis with one's willpower. John C. could not recover because she had lost her willpower, but once she gains it, she recovers fast enough to be quite healthy soon. The author also very cleverly presents the power of art through the description of an artist called Bearman. So let's read the story. It is autumn, the wind is blowing hard and it is raining heavily. All the leaves on an ivy creeper have fallen, except one. Why doesn't the last leaf fall? So we will find out that why this last leaf didn't fell. And although it was autumn and all the leaves had fallen, but one was remaining on the plant. Okay. So... Sue and John C., two young artists, shared a small flat. The flat was on the third story of an old house. Now, these two are um, young artists, Sue and John C., and they were sharing a small flat on the third story of an old house. John C. fell very seriously ill in November, and she had pneumonia. She would lie in her bed without moving just gazing out of the window. Sue, her friend, became very worried. She sent for the doctor. Although he came, every day there was no change in John C.'s condition. Now, um, all of a sudden, John C. became seriously ill in the month of November and she had pneumonia. And she had become all lifeless and she was bedridden. And she didn't bother to just get up or to take care of herself she had become all hopeless okay and her friend sue she became uh, quite worried about her friend and she called a doctor and the doctor visited regularly but still john c's condition was not improving at all so one day the doctor took sue aside and asked her is anything worrying john c अब डॉक्टर को भी ये लगने लगा था कि देर इज समथिंग दैट इज वरिंग जॉन सी मतलब कुछ ऐसा है जिसकी वजह से जॉन सी हमेशा कुछ ना कुछ सोचती रहती है परेशान रहती है नो रिप्लाइड सू बट वाई डू यू आस्क द डॉक्टर सेड जॉन सी इट सीम्स हैज मेड अप हर माइंड दैट शी इज़ नॉट गोइंग टू गेट वेल अब डॉक्टर ने जितना उनको उसको जॉन को ऑब्जर्व किया होता है शी इज़ नॉट रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू द ट्रीटमेंट एट ऑल Okay, so that's why the doctor is worried that something is um, disturbing John C. and she is not responding to the treatment because she has maybe she has given all hopes of getting well. If she doesn't want to live, medicines will not help her. So somehow the doctor feels that she has given up hope and she has lost her willpower and she doesn't want to live anymore. That's why medicines are not working upon her. Sue tried her best to make John C. take an interest in things around her. She talked about clothes and fashions, but John C. did not respond. Now Sue um, tries to distract her, tries to um, seek her attention by talking about um, clothes and fashions and what not, but she uh, did not respond at all. So John C. continued to lie still on her bed. Sue brought her drawing board into John C.'s room and started painting. To take John C.'s mind off her illness, she whistled while working. Now Sue was trying really hard to um, um, bring all the attention. Okay. और वो थोड़ा सा ये भी चाहती थी कि वो किसी तरीके से उसको मे बी कोई ऐसी चीज़ हो जो क्लिक कर जाए और जिसमें कि उसका जॉन सी का इंटरेस्ट डेवलप हो जाए ओके सो शी वॉज ट्राइंग रियली हार्ड बट 
all her efforts were going in vain because Johnsy was not at all responding. Suddenly Sue heard Johnsy whisper something. और तभी सू को ऐसा लगा जैसे जॉन्सी ने धीरे से कुछ कहा शी क्विकली रज टू द बेड एंड हर जॉन्सी काउंटिंग बैकवर्ड्स शी वॉज लुकिंग आउट ऑफ द विंडो एंड वॉज सेंग ट्वेल्व आफ्टर सम टाइम शी विस्पर्ड इलेवन देन टेन देन नाइन एट सेवन सू एंक्शियसली लुकड आउट ऑफ द विंडो नाउ सू बिकेम वरेड एंड also curious at the same time so she just looked out of the window that what was it that johnsy was counting backwards she saw an old ivy creeper climbing halfway up the brick wall opposite their window in the strong wind outside the creeper was shedding its leaves ab ek jaise angoor ki bel hoti hai na waise ek ivy creeper hota hai theek hai it's just like a vine okay so it was just climbing up the brick wall opposite their window okay so johnsy was counting on the leaves that were shedding off it what is it dear sue asked six whispered johnsy they are falling faster now three days ago there were almost a hundred leaves there are only five left now Okay, so it was autumn season, and uh, all the leaves were shedding of the um, ivy creeper. So it is autumn," said Sue, "and the leaves will fall. So the leaves were bound to fall during this season. When the last leaf falls, I will die," said Johnsy with finality. Ah, uh, Johnsy was quite sure that when the last leaf will fall, she will die. somehow she had got this feeling that jab bhi wo last leaf jo hai us ivy creeper pe you can see in the picture also this ivy creeper outside the window okay so she was just counting all the leaves and she was saying that when the last leaf will fall then i will also die i have known this for the last 3 days and she was quite sure that this is what's going to happen to her Oh that's nonsense replied Sue. What have old ivy leaves to do with your getting well? The doctor is confident that you will get better. Now Sue was not able to understand that why she is relating her well-being with the falling of leaves. Okay. So um the ivy leaves has got no connection with her getting well. Then how is she saying all this? Johnsy did not say anything. Sue went and brought her a bowl of soup. I don't want any soup," said Johnsy. "I'm not hungry. Now there are only four leaves left. I want to see the last one fall before it gets dark. Then I will sleep forever." So now she has become all hopeless, and she was saying that, uh, "I don't want to eat anything. I don't want. To, uh, I'm not hungry anymore." and i'm just waiting for the last leaf to fall and then i will sleep forever sue sat on johnsy's bed kissed her and said you're not going to die now uh, sue was consoling her and she was just being a good friend and she was supporting her okay and she was motivating her inspiring her that don't talk all these things you'll be getting better in no time I can't draw the curtain for I need the light. I want to finish the painting and get some money for us. Please my dear. Okay. Um So uh jo Sue hai wo kehti hai ki main ye curtain band nahi kar sakti kyunki mujhe light chahiye aur mujhe ye painting finish karni hai because they need some money to survive. So please my dear friend she begged Johnsy promise not to look out of the window while I paint. अब एक्चुअली वो सू जो है एक पेंटिंग बना रही होती है तो फॉर दैट शी नीड सम लाइट और जिसकी वजह से वो कर्टन्स को बंद नहीं कर सकती है बट वो जॉनसी से प्रॉमिस लेती है कि अब तुम विंडो के बाहर उन आईवी लीव्स को नहीं देखोगे ओके ऑल राइट सेट जॉनसी फिनिश योर पेंटिंग सून फॉर आई वॉन्ट टू सी द लास्ट लीव फॉल ओके 
John C agreed that okay fine I'll not be looking out of the window but just finish your painting soon because I want to see the last leaf fall I'm tired of waiting I have to die so let me go away peacefully like one of those poor tired leaves ab su jo hai john si jo hai wo su ko kehti hai ki jaldi se apni painting finish karo because i'm in a rush to die i don't want to wait any more for death to come uh, and just let me go peacefully okay jaise ki ye poor tired leaves they are going they are shedding so just let me go away peacefully like them try to sleep said su i have to paint an old miner i will call burnman up to uh, be my model okay okay so um su jo hai wo kehti hai mujhe ek old miner paint karna hai aur mujhe burnman ko bulana padega to be my model she rushed down burnman lived on the ground floor he was a 60 year old painter his lifelong dream was to paint a masterpiece but that had remained a dream a bear man jo hai wo ek old painter hai 60 year old hai and he wanted to paint a masterpiece lekin maybe due to some circumstances he was not able to do so so it was still a dream um that he wanted to paint a masterpiece so poured out her worries to bear man अब सु उसके साथ अपनी जितनी भी प्रॉब्लम्स हैं जो भी द थिंग्स दैट वर बॉदरिंग हर शी शेयर्ड विद हिम शी टोल्ड हिम हाउ जॉन सी वॉज कन्विंस दैट शी वुड डाई वेन द लास्ट लीफ फेल इज शी स्टूपड आस्ड बहर मैन हाउ कैन शी बी सो फुलिश शी इज़ रनिंग अ हाई टेम्परेचर कंप्लेन सू शी रिफ्यूज टू ईट और ड्रिंक एंड दैट वरीज मी अ लॉट अब वो बहर मैन को बताती है कि उसको बहुत तेज़ बुखार है और शी इज़ जस्ट रिफ्यूजिंग टू ईट और ड्रिंक एनी थिंग एंड दैट इज़ वरिंग मी अ लॉट एंड आई एम अंडर ट्रमेंडस प्रेशर राइट नाउ ओके बिकॉज हर फ्रेंड इज़ टॉकिंग ऑल रबिश एंड शी इज़ नॉट लिसनिंग टू हर एंड वट एवर whatever things she is trying to um save her friend it's not working okay so she needs his help to wo behrman ko apni jitni bhi uski problems thi wo share karti hai uske sath okay so i hope you have understood the story till here the rest part we'll be taking up in the next class so thank you for watching this video